here to show you our findings. Can't wait for this one. Very interesting, Tanya. You know, there may be more to the face and nearby formations than you think. More than some say NASA is willing to admit. And brand new pictures from Mars bring brand new data and controversy to an extremely profound question. Is the human race, this intelligent species inhabiting the third planet of the sun, alone? It's called Sidonia, a complex region in the northern hemisphere of Mars, the subject of an intense emotional argument between believers and non-believers, an all-out war between independent researchers who believe the government is hiding dramatic proof of alien life and NASA scientists who rigidly deny it. Are these ruins of an ancient civilization? Could the secrets of Sidonia hold the mysteries of the great pyramids of Egypt, even our own ancestors? We travel to New Mexico to meet with one of the world's foremost experts on Sidonia. Richard Hoagland is one of several scientists who have battled NASA over the years. Look at this incredible geometry. He believes the structures on Mars are way too organized, with too many specific angles in the structures and in their placement to be a natural formation. The idea that nature randomly can produce structures that look like tetrahedra and then give us the geometry in their placement so you have pyramids arranged in triangles. Which are tetrahedral pyramids. This is what started it all, the face. It appears in two photos taken by the Viking mission 22 years ago. A mile long, a half mile wide, 1,500 feet tall, and a remarkable likeness of a human face. The high sun angle looked incredibly symmetrical, mm -hmm. much too symmetrical to be a natural feature. Nature doesn't work in symmetry. Nearby, a complex known as the city, with tantalizing forms that hint of pyramids and other structures. There is this remarkable geometric feature we call the fort. There are these little guys arranged at exactly right angles to each other. Oh, that's a perfect square. It's a hoax. NASA has steadfastly ridiculed the concept that these structures on Mars could be artificial. We went to JPL to talk to Dr. Arden Albee, project scientist for the Mars Global Surveyor. He completely dismisses the idea. Do you see any pyramids here? No, no I'm afraid not. <laughs> I mean, there are uh, some of the hills have irregular shapes. But do you see where that could go? Do, 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 do? Uh, no, afraid not. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was ridicule. It was pejorative, it was absurd, it was giggle, it was, oh, come on, this can't be real. And that still seems to be true. When asked about the geometric placement of the forms, Dr. Albee had this to say. I could draw some lines going like this, but what does that mean? Well, uh, what if they're sort of precise mathematical angles? People see what they want to see. Hoagland has not been alone in his quest for the truth about Mars. In an independent peer review, Sonoma State University Dean Stanley McDaniel evaluated the data from Hoagland and other independent investigators. His report states, I became aware not only of the relatively high quality of the independent research, but also of glaring mistakes in the arguments used by NASA to reject this research. There's something on Mars that's always made people very curious. It looks like a face. It was hoped that new high-resolution images taken in the past few weeks by the Mars Global Surveyor would settle the debate once and for all. Mainstream scientists say the face formation, the size of a mountain on Earth, is caused by a trick of light and shadow on natural features. Some trick. But when the first image came out, it was very poor quality, dismissed as rocks and shadows by major news organizations and little attention has been paid to the other two photos that have since been released by NASA. This isn't science, this is a travesty. Hoagland says the first New Sidonia images should be of much higher quality, and he may be right. This is a picture taken by surveyor of another area of Mars. This is the first Sidonia image of the face. Same camera, same spacecraft, same planet. A stunning difference between this part of Mars and Sidonia. This is incredibly sharp. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can really see a lot of You can of count the sand dunes down there. And this is what 
the Sidonia picture should look like. Of course. So why such a big difference in quality? They simply threw most of the data away and they enhanced the hell out of what's left, which means you wind up with a grainy, noisy, execrable image which can prove nothing, which is what someone apparently wants. Surveyor took three new images of Sidonia this month. The first of the face brought bitter disappointment, new suspicions, and then a startling discovery. The other two hold tantalizing images. And tomorrow night, we will look at those new pictures and investigate why NASA may be keeping secrets. Very interesting. You're giving us a lot to think about, it really huh? It sure does. <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks.